In this lesson, we will see how to adjust the light and the camera so that we can create the final video. Let's start with the lighting. As we deleted the default light of the Blender scene at the beginning of the project, we will have to create a new light. And to do that, we just need to go to the Add menu here at the top of the 3D view, or use the Shift A shortcut and choose a light from the light submenu. We can choose the point light, which is the simplest. As we have seen, when we create an object, it's created wherever the 3D cursor of the scene is. So, after creating the light, we can reposition it using the Move tool. I will position it just above the plane, a little forward, and a bit to its side. For this scene, it will be a good idea if we leave the light with a good distance from the plane, like this. As we can observe now, although we have already put a light in the scene, we are still not able to observe any changes in the lighting. This is because we have the Material Preview mode active here in the upper right corner of the 3D view. With this mode, we can visualize the materials of the objects, but we cannot visualize the effect of the scene lights. So that we can see the lights of the scene, we will activate the last button, which corresponds to the rendered mode. Now we can see that the 3D view is very dark. This is happening because this light is still too dim for this scene. For us to fix this, we can make sure that the light is selected in the 3D view and click on this tab of the Properties Editor with the light bulb icon. Here we will find the properties of the active light. The first thing we need to do is increase its intensity. And we will do this here in the power parameter. We can tweak it by clicking and dragging, or by typing the value we want. As I want to increase this value a lot, I will type some high values to test, like 3000. I think we still can make the light stronger. So I will type 6000. I think it's got a nice value now, but you can test different values and make your light intensity different if you want. Another thing we can do if we want is make the shadow of the light softer. And we do that by increasing its size. Generally, the larger the area of light emission, the softer the shadows. So, to make the shadow softer, we need to increase this radius value here. But if we do that, we will see that the shadow will not change. This is because we need to enable a render property, which is the process of calculating the final image so that the soft shadows work. And to do that, we will click this tab with the icon of the back of a camera, which is the Render tab. Here we will open this Shadow panel, and we will enable the Soft Shadows option. With this, the size of the light will interfere with the softness of the shadow. Then. We can go back to the Light tab here in the Properties Editor and tweak the size of the radius until the softening of the shadows is the way we want. Now that the light is already the way I want, I will change the background color of the scene. To do this, we will change the overall color of the scene. 
And to do that, we will click this tab with the icon of a world here in the Properties Editor. And here, inside the Surface Panel, we will change this color parameter. We can choose the color we want for the background. And, as we can see, besides changing the background color, this color will also interfere a little in the lighting of the scene. I will choose a blue shade of light that is not too saturated. And with that, the lighting is already exactly the way I want. And now I will create the camera to set the final video frame. To create the camera, I will open the creation menu with the Shift A shortcut and I will click on Camera. At first, the camera will be created where the 3D cursor is. We could move the camera freely to a good frame using the transformation tools. But it's much easier to find a frame by freely navigating the 3D view and use a command for the camera to be positioned according to that frame. So, I will choose an angle taking the plane from the front and a bit of the top like this. And now, I will put the camera in this frame by going to the View menu, Align View, Align Active Camera to View. This will make the camera to be positioned exactly at the angle that was the 3D view. Eventually, the camera may be a little too close or too far from the subject. But we can make sure that the camera is selected here in the outliner and move it using the G key and dragging the mouse and we can move the camera back and forth by clicking the G key and then pressing the Z key twice. So, by pressing G, Z, Z, we can move the camera back and forth to adjust the framing. We can even do this with the play button active. And, if you happen to use the navigation controls and get out of the camera framing, you can, at any time, click on this camera icon here in the 3D view to enable the framing again. And with that, we have our scene properly illuminated and framed. In the next lesson, we will see how to configure the render and how to generate the final video for this animation.